Welcome guys, this is Calvin Dean with the Calvin Dean Show. This is week 13. I just, I can't believe it. We're into week 13 already. And how about week 12? Loved, loved the Thanksgiving show. Guys, go watch week 12 Thanksgiving show. It's all about John Madden. Um, you know, it was such a special show for me. Uh, I used to watch John um, when I was a kid and I thought he was the most amazing uh, man to watch, especially when you're you know, looking at football, you know, it's all about, you know, the grit and pow, wow, you know, that type of stuff. I just love, love that stuff. Did you know he was in the league for 10 years as a coach. He had the highest winning percentage of any coach ever, ever. 76% winning. Guys, that's that's unheard of in the NFL. Unheard of in the NFL. Well, we have week 13, and we're going to do some power rankings, the Calvin Dean power rankings up until week 13. I am going to do number four. I'm going to give it up to the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, the Philadelphia Eagles get number four at the top four. And um, the top four with Monster, they had a monster performance, monster performance in primetime games. Um, serve ultra fuel MVP race, Jalen Hurts. Oh, wow. Showed a huge audience what a difference maker he can be on Sunday night football. Football. Wow. Breaking Michael Vick's, yes, franchise record for quarterbacks with 157 yards in a 40 to 33 win over the Packers. Wow. Wow. I mean, Jalen also became the NFL's first quarterback, first quarterback since 1950 to rush with 150 yards, 150 yard and 150 yards passing, um, and at least two passing scores in a single game. The Eagles nearly made team history as well. Philadelphia rushed a whopping 363 yards, falling short of 13 yards, uh, shy of a franchise record set back in one Back in 1948, that is how the Philadelphia Eagles are shaping up. Oh, wow. I, my number three, my number three pick, all right? Number three pick is the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, there have been uh, an avalanche of speculations, speculations connecting Odell Beckham to go to the Cowboys, but perhaps America team would be better off without the famous wideout, and that's an excluding factors in, um, connected with the recent air travel um, with, um, I guess it was Michael Gallup made several difficult contested catches this last Thursday. That was pretty amazing, guys. That was pe pretty amazing. And uh, they won on Thanksgiving 28 to 20 over the Giants. I predicted that game. And, you know, I, I'm telling you something. C.D. Lamb continues to play the role of the bona fide number one wideout, logging two 100-yard efforts in the past three weeks. That's pretty intense. And the healthy Gallup profiles a highly capable Robin and to uh, Lamb's Batman, you know. <laughs> wow wow why mess with a good thing why 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 and uh that is number three my number two pick is the kansas city chiefs yes the kansas city chiefs wow uh they were quite themselves this this past sunday they weren't quite themselves excuse me, but the margin of error was significant. Uh, they found um, the Rams uh, had a backup quarterback. Was it Bryce Perkins? And they won 26 to 10. Um, it was decisive. It was decisive win, mind you. But despite the special teams issues, red zone, the red zones, they had some red zones uh, mishaps. Uh, but in general, you know, they, they really did well. I mean, and um, Patrick Mahomes was kind of unimpressed. Um, 
But, you know, I'm telling you, something, it's Patrick Mahomes, right? And he also found Kelsey um, for another touchdown. Kelsey has set a new career high with 12 receiving touchdowns. And there, uh, there are um, six games more to play. Wow. Wow. I mean, just, just, I just, I just can't believe it. My number one team uh, power rankings for the NFL is the San Francisco 49ers. Give it up for the 49ers. Uh, the Niners are an NFL superpower. I'm telling you something, that defense is a Super Bowl contender defense. That defense is just amazing. I mean, they, they, uh, you, can't, they can't, you can't score off of them. Last Monday night in Mexico City, uh, we saw an offense that can do no wrong. They were in the groove. They just played the Saints this last weekend. I predicted that game that they would win. I knew that they would just, you know, just destroy the Saints. You know, a 13 to zero win. They shut out the Saints. The Saints haven't been shut out in a long, long time, guys. The Niners have allowed us. They have not allowed. Now, mind you, the Niners have not allowed. Nikki's Niners have not allowed a second half point during their last four-game winning streak. They haven't allowed a second half point of any team. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh I'll tell you something. They have the number one defense in the NFL. And, uh, you know, that right there, guys, that's the reason why they get the number one power ranking and the Calvin Dean's number one power ranking. The San Francisco 49ers give it up for the Niners. That's for sure. We have Thursday night football, Buffalo Bills going into New England. New England losing to Minnesota on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. That was the night. Uh, and I'm telling you something. I predicted that game. And uh, I this game's going to be interesting. It's at Foxborough. You know, the New England Patriots, they play tough defense. And the Buffalo Bills, they haven't been really looking the best, but they're winning, right? Uh, the Buffalo Bills are 8-3. and three. The New England Patriots are six and five. This is going to be a tough game, guys. This is going to be a really, really tough game for the Buffalo Bills. Yet, I really think the Buffalo Bills have more firepower than the New England Patriots. New England Patriots defense is amazing. I think Bill Belichick's going to really um, spy on Josh Allen. He's not going to have Josh Allen beat him beat that team running but if he does that then he's going to beat him passing that's for sure uh i'm going to give this game up to the buffalo bills over the new england patriots on thursday night football wow they have the next game we have casey's pittsburgh steelers casey my nephew casey in florida i love you buddy and um, we have you going your team going into the Falcons. Falcons, Falcons looking pretty good. And man, what about Monday night football? I predicted the Steelers going to win that game and they did. Wow, I was so excited, so excited. They looked really good. Pickett's is really picking it up, isn't he? I mean, I'm telling you something. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, hopefully they're four and seven. I did predict that they were going to have their first losing season this year. I hope they proved me wrong. That's for sure. But they're going into the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are a good team, guys. They're a good running team. It's going to be an interesting game. It's at home. The Falcons, Steelers, Man, I just I the Falcons are five and seven, the Steelers four and seven. It's just it just it's a hard game to call. This is an up in the air game to call, but I'm gonna give this one up to the Atlanta Falcons at home over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Don't hate me, Casey. <laughs> anyway, we have the next game. We have the Broncos. Man, what is up with the Broncos, man? They, they just laid an egg against Carolina, you know? And that just everyone's up in arms and in Denver. They're going into the Baltimore Ravens. And once again, Baltimore losing a game against the Jags. 
All right. Now, there must have been an omen. I guess there was a 30 minute delay because there's this massive thunderstorm rain in Jacksonville that always happens down in Florida. And um, I just don't you know, maybe that was an omen or something like that. But they just can't finish out. They all the Baltimore, all Baltimore's losses, every single loss, four losses. They're seven and four. They all have been winning. They were winning and they let the team come back and they don't finish out the team. I just don't get that. I don't get that at all. Uh, you know, but the the Denver Broncos are coming into town. Come on. Denver Broncos is really great defense. You know, it, you best be careful, but they just don't have an offense. I'm giving this one up to the Baltimore Ravens. This is an easy one. This is my lock of the week is the Baltimore Ravens over the Denver Broncos in Baltimore. The next game, we have the Green Bay Packers. Wow. They played tough. They played it tough against the Philadelphia Eagles, 40 to 33. Wow. They lost by seven points. I thought they were going to win that game. You know, but Rodgers got hurt. He was making a comeback, made some great throws. Guy has a broken hand, broken thumb, right? Rodgers has a broken thumb, guys. And then he also has some ribs. He got hurt his ribs. He went out. Jordan Love came in and threw a 63-yard touchdown to Mr. Watson. Watson, six touchdowns in the last three games. The rookie Watson looking all world, that's for sure. And um, But they are going into Chicago. You know, Chicago for... Um, you know, Packers are four and eight. Chicago's three and nine. Chicago, I don't know. I don't. I think they're going to be without Justin Fields again. I'm going to give this one up to the Green Bay Packers over the Chicago Bears in the Windy City. It's going to be a fun game to watch. We have the next game. We have the Jags. The Jags beating, ready, beating the Baltimore Ravens in Jacksonville. But they're going into Detroit, guys. Detroit is like stout at home. Detroit's all that. That offense of Detroit is just amazing. We have the Jacksonville Jags four and seven. We have the Detroit Lions four and seven. Detroit mathematically is still in it this year for the playoff hunt for a wild card. If they can continue to win, they were on a winning streak until Thanksgiving Day, but you know, they lost, barely lost to the Buffalo Bills. What a great game that was. I told everyone it was going to be a very, very close game that game. I knew it was going to be close. I knew Buffalo would win, but I knew it was going to be a very close game. And man, the day uh, the Detroit Lions give Buffalo all they could give. And this game, the Jags off their win, Trevor Lawrence, wow, over 300 yards, no interceptions against the Baltimore Ravens, looked really good, had that last um, minute drive against the Baltimore Ravens, threw a touchdown, and then their coach, you know, give it up to him, man, give it up, you know, to the coach of the Jacksonville Jags to go for a two-point conversion, they won, um, and hats off to them. But they're going into the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions at home. Detroit Lions are all that and then some when it comes to their offense. I am going to give this game up to the Detroit Lions over the Jacksonville Jags. The next game, we have the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns beating Tampa Bay. Beating Tampa Bay, right? Nick Chubb, fourth year in a row over 1,000 yards. Fourth year in a row, over a thousand yards. Nick Chubb, give it up for Nick Chubb. That's for sure. He's they're going into the one nine and one Texans. Hmm. They just got beat by Miami. I mean, and then it, guys, stop. Don't jack Miami. Don't jack Miami. I hate when when guys like the sportscasters they they'll start jocking Miami um, after they beat. The Houston Texans. Come on, guys. You know, that's just, that's insane. Don't do that. Don't do that. Really, stop. It, it, it embarrasses yourself. Don't embarrass yourselves. Don't embarrass yourself. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, we have the Cleveland Browns going into the Texans. This is week 13. And guess what this week is? Deshaun Watson week. Yes, Deshaun Watson playing his old team. His old team. The Texans in Texas. 
wow, what a game this is going to be. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Uh, boy, this is this is going to be fun. He's going to rub it into Houston's face, the getting rid of him, the way they treated him. And I'm going to give this one up to the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns will beat the Texans in Texas. The next game, we have the Jets going into Minnesota. Minnesota, I called that game on Thursday night. It was beautiful. It was Thanksgiving. Oh, so much fun. Thank you so much to the Blags for having me over. That was really nice of you guys, man. It was really nice. I had a great Thanksgiving um, dinner uh, with uh, the Blags, and it was thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we have the Jets going into the Minnesota Vikings. And the Jets, man, did they look great? I mean, Mike White, man. I mean, it, it's like night and day between, you know, they threw for three touchdowns and guy was on fire. I mean, and, it, you know, the Jets fans are like, yeah, Mike White, yeah, you know. and uh, But they are going into the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings are really good at home. Uh, they're nine and two. The Jets are seven and four. You know, this is going to be this is going to be a very very exciting game, guys. This is going to be an exciting game. The Jets are a very very good team, uh, and um, you know, Minnesota Vikings are nine and two. Hello, you know, they just won. I think this is going to be an exciting game. I think it's going to be a back and forth game, and I'm going to give it up to the home team, Minnesota Vikings, over the New York. Jets. We have the next game. We have the Commanders. Oh my God. Commanders seven and five. They've been on a winning streak. And guess what? They get chased back. Oh my gosh. And that defense. Oh, hello. And they're going into New York. This is a divisional game. New York is seven and four. Commanders seven and five. This is going to be an interesting game to watch. It's going to be a fun game to watch. Commanders on a winning streak, guys. Commanders are on a winning streak. I really believe that the Commanders are just a stout team, and they're even going to get better because Chase Young is back. Man, I just wow, wow. He's going to be starting, guys, and that makes the defense even oh, it's more stout. You know, I just, the defense on the commanders, I give it up. I think the the um, New York Giants have um, actually met their match. I, I think they're at that point where they're showing their true colors. And I'm giving this one up to the commanders, Washington commanders, over the New York football giants in New Jersey, beating them. This is going to be an awesome game, awesome game. The next game is going to be even better. This game is going to be so good. We have the Titans. The Titans 7-4. and four. The Eagles. Wow. Power rankings for the Eagles. What were they? You know, they were number four in Calvin Dean's power rankings. And um, definitely uh, the Eagles. The Eagles are looking all world and then some. Jalen Hurts. But they are playing the Titans. Titans defense is really, really, really good. Better than the Green Bay Packers, mind you. But, you know, those Eagles, they give up points. They gave up 33 points to the Green Bay Packers. That's the thing. You have to understand something, guys. When I do power rankings, I do it because I look at the defense and the offense, right? And their defense is just giving up points. The Philadelphia Eagles, they do have a good defense, but they're giving up points. They're not a Super Bowl contending defense. They just aren't. They have a great offense. Mind you, they really do. But they are 10-1 and one too, right? And they have the Titans coming into the Eagles. This is going to be a great game. This is going to be my upset special of the week. My upset special is the Tennessee Titans coming into Philadelphia. They're, you know, Philadelphia is going to meet their match on this one. King Henry is going to run all over that defense, and I'm going to give it up to the Titans on a tight game. It's going to be the Tennessee Titans over the Philadelphia Eagles. Give it up to the Titans. The next game is the Seattle Seahawks. Wow, I called it. I called that upset. That was my upset last week. 
is the Raiders beating the Seattle Seahawks? And how about Josh Jacobs? He is the player of the week, guys. 229 yards rushing, ran a 86-yard run in overtime to win the game. Wow. Over 70 yards. He had a total of 303 yards total offense for Josh Jacobs. Come on, man. Really? Josh? Wow. Wow, that was amazing. He's over 1,100 yards for the season. Uh, I think he's the number one running back in the NFL, that's for sure. We have the Seattle Seahawks coming into the Los Angeles SoFi Stadium playing the Rams. Rams played the Kansas City Chiefs pretty well. They really did. I I was very impressed. Very impressed. I think Seattle's coming down to to earth, too. They're 6-5 and now. You know, and the the Rams are three and eight. You know, the Rams and now Donald has a high ankle sprain, I believe, and be without Donald. Uh, this is going to be a very close game. I I'm giving this one up to the Seattle Seahawks, beating the Los Angeles Rams in SoFi Stadium. We have the next game. We have this is going to be one of the best games. This is going to prove. I'm going to prove this, guys. Now, after the Miami Dolphins played the the. Houston Texans rolled on them like they were a high school team, right? And every uh, every sports guest, oh, Miami, Miami, Miami. Guys, they're going to meet the number one defense in the NFL. Number one defense. Number one defense. And the San Francisco 49ers. Now, unfortunately, Elijah Mitchell sprained his MCL, and he will be out. 68 weeks. So he could be making the playoffs. Uh, You know, it is week 13. He could make the playoffs. Let's say if they make it into the championship game, I think they will uh, be there. And uh, Elijah Mitchell uh, could be available for that game and then the Super Bowl as well. Uh, I I have the Miami Dolphins. Wow. They're they're a great team. Great team. Uh, They're... uh, they're eight and three, right? 49ers are on a run right now. Last four games, they have uh, <laughs> they their opponents have not scored a point in the second half. So, wow, that's a great. I, I think that's that's great coaching as well. You got to understand that that's great coaching as well because they go in at halftime, they they uh, make adjustments, the defense does, and they stop them in the second half, and that's what it's all about: shutting out the 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 Saints. And the Saints defense is a pretty good defense too, guys. And they beat the Saints thirteen to nothing. This is going to be an exciting game. This is going to be an exciting game. I think the San Francisco 49ers will just methodically bring the ball down with Jimmy G passing McCaffrey Debo you know we have Ayuk is just amazing Kittle and that defense the Miami Dolphins with that offense you're gonna meet your maker you're gonna meet Dark Vader Miami Darth Vader is the defense of the uh, San Francisco 49ers, you know, you're going to go, oh, Tua is going to be just going, whoa, Bosa just knocked the crap out of me and I am not feeling it. I am not going to run because this team is all that and then some in the defense and I'm going to give this one up to Nikki's Niners. Nikki's Niners will beat the Miami Dolphins in San Francisco. It'd be different if it was in Miami. I would most likely I might give it up to Miami if it was in Miami. But at this moment in time, I don't think there's many teams that can beat the, um, the San Francisco 49ers. Niners defense is just stout and that offense is just clicking on all cylinders giving it up to the san francisco 49ers we the next game we have the kansas city chiefs going into cincinnati i called cincinnati losing this last game which i was wrong and they beat the titans um and you know they just they did well they stopped king henry right and but jamar chase you know He's. I think he'll be back this game. I think um, the Cincinnati Bengals. They're at playing at home. The Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't really blow out the Rams as I thought they would, but they didn't. Twenty six to ten. They won. And Mahomes wasn't Mahomish. 
Uh, you know, he wasn't that, you know, five touchdown, but Kelsey did score a touchdown. Uh, you know, this is going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game, the call. Uh, you know, it's the Kansas City Chiefs are really, really good, and the Cincinnati Bengals prove that they're good. They're 7-4. and four. The Chiefs are 9-2. and two. Uh, You know, I, I, I'm going to give this one up to the Cincinnati Bengals. I think the Bengals are going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs in Cincinnati, and the Bengals are on up 8-4, and four, and the Chiefs are going to be 9-3. and three. Wow. That's going to be it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be very interesting giving it up to the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. The next game, we have the Chargers going into the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders winning uh, this last week with Josh Jacobs total yards 300. And tell you, I'm going to tell you something right now, right now, that the Chargers are not that good when it comes to the run, stopping the run. And with Jacobs, wow. Wow, guys! Wow, I just I see I see uh, an opportunity for the Las Vegas Raiders to pop back into the playoff hunt here. I really do. I I mean, it's mathematically it's sound. They could. I I really think uh, they they definitely could beat the Chargers in this game. I'm going to give this one up to the Las Vegas Raiders over. The Los Angeles Chargers in Las Vegas. The next game we have Sunday night football. Yes, Sunday night football. I love Sunday night football. I love saying Sunday night football. <laughs> I don't know. I just get into that. Anyway, guys, we have the Colts limping into uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, the Colts look terrible on Monday night football. They, I don't know what's wrong with that team. Yeah, their offense. I mean, they, you know, I don't know, man. What's going on with their offense? It's just, it's just dink and dunk, dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Five yard pass, six yard pass, five yard pass. They're not throwing it down the field. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Well, you know, look at the coach. Terrible coaching. Uh, you know, um, Saturday. I'm sorry, brother, but you're not really an NFL coach. You're trying your best. I, I think that was just a um, uh, uh, I was, I think that whole coaching thing that um you know the the owner brought in and I you know he's doing it just to get the number one pick, trying to get a, a pick that's way down in the in the draft because Matty Ice just looked terrible. Um, I think it's just the the offensive coordinating uh, is just terrible. Um, they look terrible. They're going into Dallas. Dallas looking great. Great, great on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. They beating the New York football giants. I called that game. I knew they would beat the New York football giants. But this game is going to be, this is an easy, easy game to call, guys. Really easy game to call. This is an easy game to call, guys. So we're going to give this one up to... The Dallas Cowboys at home, Sunday night football, and the Dallas Cowboys beating the Indianapolis Colts. Last game is a Monday night football game. I just love Monday night football. It's so much fun. I, I miss the Howard Cosell and Dandy Don. I told, those were the days, man. Those were the days, man. I just loved Howard Cosell. was so much fun to watch. Um, Dandy Don singing at the end of the game. Party's over. You know, I love that. I love that. I love that. Wow. You know, uh, so we have the New Orleans Saints getting shut out this last week by the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, look, the Niners are just all that and then some, you know, and they're going into the the, the Bucks, the Buccaneers losing this last week. Ugly, 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 ugly loss to the Cleveland Browns. And I'm thinking, you know, I mean, the, now, mind you, the Saints have always had Tom Brady's number, always had Tom Brady's number, but I don't think the Saints... Offense is really that good with Andy Dalton. I really don't think they are. I think they're adequate. You know, they're not that great. They're, you know, they're really, uh, their ranking, offensive ranking is is near last 
you know so i just don't i you know they're four and eight in the buccaneers five and six but they're number one in their division wow you know that's just that's just like the nfl east <laughs> of yesteryear right I'm going to give this one up to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Tom Brady, Monday Night Football, will beat the New Orleans Saints. Giving it up. Yeah. Wow. Week 13, guys. Wrapping it up. But you have to do one thing before I end the show. Give it up to Mix Cocktail Hour. Three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Wow. I mean, Mixed Cocktail, I just love that show. Tammy is so fun to watch with Scott. Those guys just feed off of each other. Watch them every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Mixed Cocktail Hour. Go to my link below and click on the link. Watch that show. Subscribe. Remember, subscribe, comment, and turn on your notifications for my show. You could win an NFLshop.com hat of your choice. Um, and give it up to NFLshop.com for sure. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Week 13, yes, go. See you next week, guys. Yeah.